Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I've got this makeup look for you. This was fun to film. I went for something a little different with the lip colour, something a bit glossy. I don't usually go for gloss but I did today. So it's a bronzy smudgy eyeliner look with some really big eyelashes. I really enjoyed filming it. I hope that you guys are going to love it too. So if you want to see how to get this, thank you for watching. So to start off I'm just going to be priming my face with the NYX Pore Filler Primer. And then for my foundation, I'm taking a mixture of the Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation and the EX1 Invisaware Foundation. So the Smashbox one is in the shade 1.1 and the EX1 is in the shade F100. So I'm just going to take like one pump of the EX1 and about a pump and a half of the Smashbox Studio Skin. Putting that all over my face with a Zoeva 10 with a Zoeva 102 silk finish brush. I like to mix these two foundations because I find the Smashbox one to be light to medium coverage, whereas when I mix in the EX1, it goes to more of a medium to full coverage. And I think the colour matches me a little bit better as well. So now moving on to eyebrows, I'm just going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Powder Duo in Ebony. And now just taking my Benefit Give Me Brow in the shade 5. So now we're going to move on to the eyes, so I'll zoom you in. Okay, so the first shade I'm going to take is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and it is called Bone. And it's just a matte bone shade. I'm just going to put that from lid to brow bone. Now taking a MAC 224 brush, I'm going to pick up the shade Birkin. I'm going to run that through my crease area. I'm going to take a different blending brush. This is the Zoeva 227 on this Anastasia shade called Fudge. On the lid and through the crease. Just as like a wash. And now with my finger, I'm going to be taking this ColourPop Super Shock eyeshadow in the shade Sequin. And then with the same MAC 224, I'm just going to blend out the edges of that shadow. And then with a smaller flat brush, I'm going to take another ColourPop eyeshadow in the shade Amaze. And I'm going to start by putting that in the centre of the lid and just blending out, tapping out those edges. If you find that the brush isn't pulling up enough product for you, you can just go in with your finger. Place it in the centre and then just take the flat brush and tap out the edges. I'm going to put this on my tight line and in my waterline. And then I'm going to start to flick that pencil upwards, just like that, and then drag it down onto the lid. And taking NARS Coconut Grove on a short shader brush, I'm just going to smoke out that lower lash line. And when I get up here, I'm going to flick it out and then drag it down and then I'm just going to keep building on that until I have it as 
far out and as smoky as I want it. So now I'm going to take that fudge shadow again and just keep blowing out that lower lash line. And then I think I'm just going to quickly go in again with a bit more of that coconut growth. Yeah, I like that better. I'm gonna go back into the ColourPop Amaze shadow on a on a Zoeva on a Zoeva 238 brush, and I'm gonna pack that on my inner corner area. In front of camera and chucked on some mascara and false eyelashes. The mascara that I'm wearing is by Benefit, and it's the Roller Lash. And the lashes are by Socialize, and these are in the style Vamp. Okay, so now we're going to conceal and I'm going to do some cream contouring today. Just to, sh just to switcheroo it up a little bit. So first I will be taking my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15 and putting it under my eyes. Chin, top of my lip, my nose. In between my eyebrows, under my cheekbone, and then because we're cream contouring, I'm also going to drag that under my lip. Just like that. So before I go in with my darker shade, I'm going to buff all of this out first. Purely because I just I just don't like to mix my cream products with each other. going to take my Stila cream contour little dooby dabby and this is in light I'm just gonna take the contour shade on a flat brush and start mapping that out on my face so obviously we'll go into the cheekbones A forehead and then I will take it on my chin and under my lip And then I'm going to take the same highlight shade from that palette and I'm just going to chuck it down the centre of my nose. Just so that it's easier to blend out. And in my cheek. And a little bit more on the cupid's way. And a little bit under here. I'm going to take a duo fibre brush. And I'm going to start buffing that into my cheekbones. Circular motions. Going up. I'm 
in my nose and my chin and under my lip I like to just take a little brush like this and this one's by Morphe and it's the M460 and I just go over my nose like this just right blending down the sides blending all that product in and then for the little highlight and then for the highlight shade down the center I will take my foundation brush and just blend that into everything just like that and the same with the cupid's eye and then with the under the lip I just went on this under and pull this down here you can drag any excess product down under the down under the double chin so I'm just gonna blend in the highlight And then because I'm extra, I like to take my powder contour, so just by Anastasia Beverly Hills, the fawn shade. Just going to set over all of the contoured areas. And then for blush, I'm just going to take this one by Urban Decay and it's called Score. For my highlight, I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics powder in grace so for lips I'm going to use I don't know which one to use they're both by Jared Cosmetics and I don't know if I should go Aphrodite or if I should go Serenity what do you think I might go Aphrodite and then if I hate it, I'll just put Serenity on top. I put a gloss on top, let's be wild. I take this gloss also by Jarrah Cosmetics and it's in the shade Crystal. Okay, so this is the finished look and I'm actually, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I might just zoom you in so you can have a closer look at the eyes. Come in. So this is the end of today's makeup tutorial look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments below what you think. Um, whether you prefer the glossy lip or the matte lip. I think I prefer the glossy lip and I'm not a lip gloss kind of gal. Let me know down in the comments any other makeup looks you're wanting to see from me. Any other videos you're wanting to see from me. So I hope you guys are having a great day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you next time. Bye.